Take 169. Okay, this is a tutorial for setting up Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles with online multiplayer functionality. First things first, you will want to download, install, and get Dolphin all ready. Only thing I have to say is set the audio to that and make sure to set the controllers for GBAs for the number of multiplayers you want for the multiplayer session. Single player, use standard controller. Only special instructions you get from me. Pause the video and go find the instructions and a guide for Dolphin. While you're at it, find a guide for Visual Boy Advance. I'll give a little bit of guide for Visual Boy Advance, though. If you need help, an emu that lives in paradise can help you. So, for the Visual Boy Advance, my instructions are use BIOS file, configure, you have to get the BIOS, that's the emu that helps. Select them, and hit OK. So, you can now do local co-op with these instructions. Basically. This is all you need for local co-op. No, you can't do local because I didn't go into the details. I'm, this is a good guy, good guy. Keep watching, keep watching. Parsec. This is what you'll need for online functionality. Download it, install it, create an account. This is from the host section for the host setup. So host will download it, install it, have hosting, be the host, do all that stuff, leave all these settings the same, they work good for me, then you will add a computer. Add your own gaming computer, don't know how to do the cloud one, play on a friend's computer, this is what the guests will pick. But since this is the host, set your computer up and it will see your desktop, you can name it and whatnot, there we go. So. Now your friends do the exact same, except they don't do the hosting, they do the play on a friend's computer. So when they go here, they'll see your friend's computer, so they'll see this. My friends will see this computer and they'll have a co-op button to say, hey, I want to play. Or you can set invitation codes to play, and they can play via that. So, they will do that, and I'll do that right now on the laptop. There we go! Biomix wants to play. That's the laptop next to me. Hit accept. They're now connected. And they are now viewing this screen. Screen sharing is enabled so they can see this screen. This is how they see the game. And this is their controller being shared to the host PC. So, host is now sharing all that fine, lovely, dandy stuff. Somehow that got minimized, so. Friend is connected. We will now launch Dolphin. Dolphin will launch up, and you will want to can open the, go to file, open, and select the BIOS file on the Game Boys. This is the worst part. Maybe we'll get lucky and first one connected, do it again, open, select the BIOS file and connect. So if you have issues, go to emulation and hit reset and reset Dolphin. And keep resetting Dolphin until all the Game Boys connect. That's what I have to do. Generally speaking, doing them one by one sometimes has better results. I don't know if that's just anecdotal or not, but it seems to work better. Like that. So, we're almost done, guys. We're just getting it set up. So, the blue will always be player one. I recommend the host being player one. So, have the host put in their controls that they want for their controller. And hit OK. Now, tell your friend to, hey, get your controller ready. Because you go to the red one, go to 
the next ones and you tell them to start configuration. So you'll click in and tell them, okay, put in your inputs and they'll hit, oh, controller not detected. That is the do with Parsec because you heard Windows, the Windows saying, oh, it's connecting now. So just go back in and it connected. So they set up, whoa, what the heck did I do? Up, down, hmm. Okay, so there might be a little issue still. So you'll go to your taskbar in Windows and open up the system tray. Go to Parsec, right click and reset controls. If you have any issues with the guests, do that. So, then go back in, it's cleared out, and they will continue to configure their controller the way they desire. And it's the same way as mine is, because they're not a dirty heathen, and they like standard controller settings. So, player one and player two are now set with the GBAs, so... Bam! Make it nice and big, because this is the see this is the screen that your friends are seeing. Exact same thing as you're seeing right now, because it's sharing this desktop screen. I could probably go over that in Parsec a little bit. So, like multiplayer. You have to do a new game. This is set up to make it quicker and easier, because there's a little bit of in-game finagling to do. So you're good, you can stop watching now, and you can do the finagling yourself, but I don't recommend it. I'll just tell you. Jade already taken, Taylor, okay, there we go. So, we're started, so. The thing I was talking about in here, post settings. This is the monitor, I have a two monitor setup. This is the monitor that OBS is recording and that I'm sharing to the guests. So, just to give you some information on what this is doing, this is a terrible guide. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Parsec. Allowing this to even be possible. So. Do to do. I probably should have gotten further in. Probably should have had a save. This test village already made it, have already made, and have the characters already made. Because. So I don't have to go through this. Yeah, not redoing this though. No, nope, not redoing it. There we go, look at this. The game's playing just fine. Everything's just fine, just dandy A-OK. -okay. By the way, both controllers, both laptop, that's not connected to my desktop physically. Only way it's connected is through Parsec can also go through these cutscenes, hit the button. Matter of fact, I can even use fast forward because it's all running on the same PC. It's not everyone running their own individual emulators, therefore fast forward feature still actually works. Okay, so. See the stuttering, jarring movement, holding on the button, I can't charge attack. So, you hit select, go into the Game Boy, and you'll want to take it off the radar. Go back out, and everything works just fine. That's the only issue that I know of so far with the game and running the emulator and whatnot, is you can't have the radar open, otherwise it gets all wonky. So, just take a note of your bonus, 
Then go to any other screen and player one and player two are now fully functional. And that is it. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles setup for either local, just do the same things, but instead of doing Parsec, you can do this locally, or you can use Parsec and have your friends connect their controllers to your computer through the internet. And they control the characters by watching because they'll share the screen. So they get to watch and play, and I tested this, and my friend said it had low latency. It was it did pretty dang good. So yes, that is it. Hopefully this tutorial is better than the last one I made, and I'm gonna have to take it off of YouTube and re-upload this one. So I think this one's slightly better. Bone do Baja Blast, I drank some earlier, I burped during that last tutorial. I don't know, this is it. I feel like I'm forgetting stuff, probably because I am. Good enough tutorial for me. Hope this helps. If it didn't help, I at least hope I can have pointed you in the good enough direction to get more Googling and get it done yourself. Good luck, have fun with your friends.